Alert, Diego Music Exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. <laughs> So I was like, man, I don't want to feel sick like yeah, that again. Nah, I didn't believe that uh, shit. I'm yeah, going through yeah, airports, yeah. going to LA, traveling, yeah. still sneaking in little shows here and there, doing private shit, and came back, man, from motherfucking Burbank, man, was tore the fuck up, man. And I feel like how I felt when when I got sick, I felt like it's before they announced any COVID shit. So I was like, what is this? And when I realized it, because I, I, I said it when I was sick, I said, if I was any older, I would have died. Yeah, like if I was like twenty you years old, that too. It's just the you gotta you, be, you feel, gotta you be able to fight it. that. Oh shit. no, you like, gotta see. I've been I was working out. See, I quit the cigarettes. I've been slowing down. I ain't been really smoking the weed. I've see, been really yeah. on my yeah. workout shit. Before that, yeah, it was before that. Before, yeah, I've been, okay. I've been on like like a three year mission. Just okay. Just on one, just really so in the gym think, all the time. You think it would have been worse? Had oh, I would have been. been. On those I, I would have been fucked up. Yeah, if I'd have been on the cigarettes and all that shit, bro, ain't no telling what would have happened. You know uh, what I mean? Motherfucker, damn near with a croak. That's why I was telling motherfuckers it ain't just your pre existing conditions, it's your habits also. Yeah, your Ex previous habits. Your whatever you got going on, pre existing habits. Can fuck you up. Can yeah. fuck you up, bro. Yeah. Real yeah. shit. Now, I, you know I, shit. I want to go back to. Um, to, to Early Harbor and you out here and you with your friends. Now, when y'all graduating from stealing bikes and shit and y'all like, man, n nigga, first thing was like, man, we can hustle this, these sacks. Man. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can get off this weed, man. Like, how was that and how did that process happen? Like, who did y'all go see and who idea was it? Um, Well, first it was, uh, well, it was just one of our young homies out there, man. My boy, uh, Qdell, man, and my, my boy, man, one love to Qdell. He was like the first one. He was out there and we always be on that old shame on you type shit. Like, bro, you stupid. You gonna fuck around, go to jail. You cutting school and out you here. You see how niggas was really innocent, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They was really didn't hey, like that shit. Hey, for real, though. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, we having us yeah, fucked up. We was on like, some hater shit because he, he was getting his he money. Getting I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, this nigga yeah. got a little bankroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We over here still asking moms for lunch money and shit going to school. Niggas <laughs> scared to get off the porch. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, we like, bro, you stupid and this and that. So... How I got into it, me and my cousin. Who now, was this actually, middle school. This is middle school, yeah. yeah. How I actually got into it, I, uh, me and my cousin end up stealing from my uncle. I was the only nigga that knew how to hang down from the project builders and climb in through the windows and shit. And, you know, my cousin passed by like, well, Unc just had a whole record player top. You know, he had the little record. You mm -hmm. cover the record player weed. Like, that motherfucker full of weed and the whole shit. He like, blood. he just, I just soon passed by the bathroom. He was getting up walking. He just locked the door. I'm like, well, yeah. He like, he just left. So, yeah, I went in there. It was bammer and shit at the time. But I right, went in that right. motherfucker, took a whole handful of that shit, stuff in the yeah, bag, yeah. dropped it down to my cousin. Turn around, seen a little Crown Royal bag sitting right there. Nigga, hella money up in that motherfucker. So oh. I grab all that shit, you know, stuff it in my pockets, climb back out the window, go up on top of the roof, get mm. up out of there. So we start selling it. Yeah, little young motherfucker. But uh, we start selling it to the little Shoreview niggas and shit, dudes up top. And uh, they a little bit older than us. And we we getting ourselves. We didn't know how much, you know, yeah, yeah, grams yeah. cost. Yeah, they whooping that. you. Yeah. They whooping the shit out of us. I think we sell them niggas quarter ounces and shit for like $10 and shit. Yeah. Go like, give we some did, of your yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I had about a QP from his ass, yeah, though. Yeah. But, yeah, he had, we ended up starting like that. So, that was like the little start. And once we sold out, you know what I mean? We I just tried to, we just start trying at, to figure out that, how to recount. Uh, yeah, the, okay. That's what I was about to say. So, how did y'all figure out how to my boy who first started. Uh, yeah, I went to him like, bro, like where you on. getting your shit from? And he just yeah. like, man, I'm getting, you know, such and such, man, crippled. Uh, you know, we had an OG up there who, uh -huh. rest in peace, uh, gone now. But he used to be a crippled dude. Used to come through a little six five Mustang. And he used to be dropping him off the zips, quarter ounces, all that. And he was like, bro, just let me know. I, you know, you can just come with me and just get from him. And that's what we did. I now, going now, now, straight to the line. Oh, yeah, we went straight to the line. Paint, yeah. Painting this picture, this is pre-crack. So Pre-crack. So since this is pre crack, we gotta we gotta do this timeline and make sure people understand. Like you going to cop is a big deal. You going to get some more product is a big deal. It's not yeah. like everybody selling everything right now. Right. This right. is still like you niggas hella bad for doing this. Oh shit. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 This is probably 86, 85, 86 or something like yeah. that. Mama yeah. them totally clueless. Oh clueless. They, totally. Nah, they yeah. totally clueless. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 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 So did it get a point where you're not asking her for money as much no more? And no, I still used to grab a little money and shit, but it wasn't nothing to me because now I'm selling weed and all that shit. And you know, she started really how she ended up finding out later on I say later down the line I bought me a Skylark 6.9 Skylark and tried to park it around the corner yeah, everybody one of my mom's friends busted my ass 
Chris, 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 is that your car? She see me parking it. I'm looked at her. She like, Chris, that's your car. I'm like, nah. Yeah. She like, do your mama know that you driving and all that? And I'm like, uh, yeah, she know. He like, all right, I'm gonna ask her. I'm like, oh, I'm You're busted. Like, Damn. And yeah. soon as moms came home from work, man, she got <laughs> on my ass. Where that car at you? Who car was you driving? And I didn't have nobody to lie on. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, it was mine. She like, who the fuck sold you a car? You, yeah. you only 15 years old. And yeah. man, she grabbed my ass by my ears and took me back to that car and drove, had me drive that motherfucker back to the owner and told dude, man, I'm gonna call oh, the really? police. Damn. You sold this car to a miner the whole night. And I was mad as fuck. I only bought the motherfucker for like 250 oh, bucks. Oh my God. You had a, nice, a, yeah. a right year Skylark. <laughs> that motherfucker yeah. was clean the motherfucker yeah. too. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. But yeah. Uh, yeah, nah, that was like the first time she found out. Okay. And that happened probably it's about crazy a year after It's crazy because we talk about this shit all the time like how you could come up on a car back then but a, a raggedy ass Skylark could cost you 20 bands right now right now, now. yeah 6A six, 6A six, you know what I'm saying this shit no what shit. to do with this Woo. shit man for so, real so in, in this process like so mom seeing you starting to have some money now is it safe to say that I mean there's always been politics but is it safe to say that your generation of really when crack and shit hit is really when like turf politics started because oh, yeah, yeah, nobody yeah, yeah. wasn't really tripping off y'all selling nah, weed nah nobody wasn't really tripping and we weren't you know we was going like i said we had moved to sunnydale and came back it was it, it wasn't like a gang situation it was just that oh you a new nigga over here right mm. right we right, just gonna right. fuck you up we don't know who, we you, don't is. Know who you is yeah. yeah you know what i mean you coming over here fresh you know looking fly you know my mom was working you know what i mean right. I, I say that we was more like damn near upper middle class type no no hood. that's how it is right. you know what if I'm your saying? mama didn't wait a good ass job at bank of america and we got school clothes was nice. Y'all probably had a flow model Zenith. All the whole shit. The whole <laughs> shit. No, our house was nice in the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we was kind of like up there in the hood. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they, dudes didn't like that. We got tether balls that we bringing outside, putting in the front of our house. And, you know, we got them dudes who, who want to come around and try to punk a motherfucker swinging on the rope and breaking it down and doing all, you know, going through shit like that, thinking like we some squares and shit. Mm -hmm. So then with some of your early fights. Early yeah, fights, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I put them on a couple of niggas over yeah, there, though. Yeah. Man, they, they know how, to this day, a lot of them talk about good that we homies now, but yeah, you like, know. Like, nigga, black you, was, you was tricky. Yeah, nigga had them hammers yeah, back then. Yeah. Nigga, didn't, nigga didn't, didn't care about squaring right, up. Right, right. And then yeah. we got to where mom was like, baby, we got to move up out of here. None no, of that. no, no, no. My mom was going to make like, like, yeah, when I thought I was about to get jumped, my mom the type that, nigga, get your ass up out there. You better you go gonna fight both ass. of them. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. You ain't going to come up in here. Get up. your ass up out there. She yeah. wasn't She kicking me back out the door. You know That's what I mean? Up. Nah, she didn't give a fuck about that. My mom was straight hood, man. You know, that shit was so, that shit was so, so, so like intense and and, and, and beautiful at the same time, right? Yes, sir. That your mama was able to teach you some survival skills because right mm -hmm. now it's so cowardly right now. You oh, know what I'm saying? These kids it's just so tough, like man. like these little niggas really think because they got a pistol. Like nigga, that ain't that ain't anybody could shoot somebody. But that's because moms ain't putting it to their ass. Like my right, moms wasn't right. growing up as our sister or none of that. She uh, mm -hmm. she knew what was up. She'd make us go fight, but at the same time she gonna whoop our ass too when she find yeah, right, out something going right, on, something right. we don't supposed to do. If she couldn't handle it, she gonna call pops over there. Right. Right. And he gonna come put them hammers on us. He we used to be scared of that nigga when he about to show up. Yeah, he ain't playing. Yeah, yeah. He whooping a motherfucker yeah, ass yeah, for yeah. real. You know what I mean? That's one thing about pops. He wasn't in the household, but when she called him, he showing up, and right, I would too. Right, right. You know what I mean? And, and another thing we gotta always talk about is we gotta always to again humanize us yes, as, sir. as black fathers because they always try to just paint the picture that niggas ran off nigga the government was trying to make sure we ran, we ran off, off right oh, off man, so, 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 and, and, and doing then. all that yeah, a nigga, a nigga yeah. ain't even that far removed from slavery then a nigga ain't that far removed from Jim Crow exactly. you know what I'm saying he, in fact probably born in Jim Crow Real shit. you know what I'm saying how Real. the fuck when, who taught you how to be a dad right right who the fuck that taught he right. Cliff Huxtable how to be that <laughs> right I, here, I, here. I want to meet his granddad <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you came out, motherfuckers came to what, California or wherever they came from, migrated from down south, trying to mm -hmm. yeah. trying to work, yeah. trying to, you didn't even have exactly. time to man, fight. And man, but great, then if you right. get caught up into that system with the crack. Man, when the nigga get old and the nigga find out all these granddaddies had all these motherfucking kids around the corner and down the street. You're right. 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 Like, right. right. <laughs> That nigga used to be fussing at me like a motherfucker. That nigga wasn't perfect. I wish I would have known that back then. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He's gonna get your daughter, nigga. Yeah. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Uh, so, so, so when when you finally got to the point where like now you describing we at eighty six 
So you starting to see now niggas starting to have Seville's and Mustangs, and you oh, starting to shit. see niggas starting to have Cougars and on Zeniths and Star Wires, and you looking at this yes, shit sir. now. This shit, I know how that shit look. That shit look crazy. Yeah. And yeah. as you being old enough, because if I was old enough at the time, I definitely would have been a instant crack dealer. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, There's right, no right, way right, around it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I had to wait till the nineties, but I was there when niggas was doing that. So I can imagine you. So at this point, what what is the conversation or when are you like because you know one of the one of the greatest te- that's why I love Snowfall because it really looks like Man, that. Man, mm-hmm. like a motherfucker. I one love that. One, one of the greatest examples of what crack did is that badass bitch that badass that bitch oh man that, one that you could never get yeah now you got access <laughs> and she just let <laughs> and anybody just, run her no, and it's just yeah. like she and just she ain't, went bad she ain't a dolphin yet cause dolphins don't exist Mm. So she's smoking. She's just getting high. Yeah, right, real right. shit. So she's still a bad real bitch, shit. but now, yeah. but you're seeing her a little out of her element. Yeah, like right, been starting. To, you know what I'm saying? She's starting to slip up yeah, now. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so when 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 you felt like you needed to get in the game, what was that experience like? Like, how did you? As far as graduating to the crack, it was. Uh, I don't know. It just kind of happened suddenly, man. It was uh, actually it was my one of my cousin's boyfriends. He used to uh, come to, like you said, he had like a 6'6 six, six Mustang. He had the little trues and Vogues on mm-hmm. it and shit. Mm-hmm. He was fly, you know, and she was like letting him know, like, yeah, my little cousin, he be doing his thing, you right, know. Right. He had to talk to him. And yeah, dude ended up getting at me. And um, he was like, yeah, bro, if you really want to try to, you know, get some money, it's good. I, I look mm-hmm. out for you. And I thought about it. I was like, man, I don't know. I'm, I don't really want to fuck with the crack because I knew it was a different type of clientele. Type. And a lot of the OGs that it was, was a different doing, kind of money, though, too, oh, at it that definitely time, was. Right? Yeah, the OGs it. was getting their paper. You know, we was out there, had our little section with a bunch of dudes kind of my age, a little bit older, you know, taking turns. We had the turn system going on and the whole shit, taking turns, moving our little bammer sacks and whatnot. Right. And once, it, the, the, once he fronted me that quarter ounce, he back then, too, we had to rock it up ourselves. Okay. We used to go to the... Uh, to the record store on Third Street, get the shaker bottles, and you used to have them little vials, and you put that shit in there with the little B12 and shit, and, and rock that shit up yourself. Had yep. your little match, I mean, your little uh, little fire thing up under the little lighter. Wasn't cooking it on the pot. Nah, we wasn't cooking in the pot at the time. Nah, we was rocking that shit up ourselves. 20 <laughs> shot Hubba Rock for Hubba Rock, Ready Rock, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One shot after for one shot. Like we had to rock, put a little bit in, getting one rock at a time, doing it like that. And what niggas got to understand back then, this this is not New York, so it's not Valves, and this is nah. not late in the 90s when niggas start having spitters. This is raw crack. Raw crack. <laughs> you just oh, yeah, got raw. crack yeah. on you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even, we, that's what I said. When we first started, it wasn't even baking soda. How we was doing it, we was just kind of mixing it a little bit with the B12 and, and rocking it up. And that's kind of how it started. You know, you probably make, you know, might spend 125 or something for a quarter ounce. You might make 160 It was only like $40 profit or some shit like that. Now, now, but it's going hella it's going fast. fast. Yeah. You can't even know. It's going fast, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who, who is the, who's the niggas in, in, in um, Hunter's Point? That's that nigga. Like you saying, like, oh, that's that nigga. He got that paper. Like, so you talking about sort of like like a Felix or something over Felix, here? Yeah, like, oh like well, that, James like, Beasley is from where? He from? Uh, no, he from out there. Where yeah, I'm at. yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah. point. James yeah. Beasley was 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 yeah. that man. He was the one yeah, of them. Okay. But then you know, I had my uncle Flop. You had a bunch of them over there. Aunt Martinez, rest in peace. A lot of them dudes was doing their thing, man. They was. So man, you back looking in the at day. these niggas? They the type of niggas pulling up to the rec center, passing out dubs and you know, doing all that. You wasn't seeing them moving. They was fucking with the niggas who was on our block, who we was looking at, who probably was getting a little half a brick or something like so that. So they was okay. up, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was, he was a different level. Niggas like me, them niggas drive by like a myth. Yeah, like a myth. yeah. yeah exactly. You, you see him drive by that niggas. thing. He just come through with yeah, that right. new motherfucking five point oh that just dropped. Yeah, like I saw that nigga today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all the motherfucking new Benz or something, little one ninety or something. He coming through. Yeah. But that was about it. You didn't really have access to them. You know, right, niggas had right, small money. We right. had to fuck with the, our little OGs on OGs, the block who was right, buying bricks right, off them. You right. know, mm-hmm. they had slang a motherfucker a quarter ounce. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, my, my cousin dude put me on. I maybe so. Uh, I paid him back twice, and then I kind of just burnt off on him because I found out you know he was a square. Yeah. Doing his little thing, and one yeah. of my dudes, one of my OGs, was like, man, I used to go to school with that nigga. Man, he's a sucker. And we were like, Black, you fucking with him? And I was yeah. like, Yeah, that's my cousin's boy. He's like, Man, that dude's a sucker. They start telling me stories about him, and uh, so I ended up keeping the nigga dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came through looking for me. 
But you know, my, my big homie and all them was just was telling a nigga like, bro, bro, go, man. You know, don't even come back around here. Like they kind of punked him a little bit for me. And he left it alone. He and, and let's, let's, be, so let's, let's, up, let's be honest. Let's be honest. One twenty-five plus my profit. Let's be know? honest. That nigga. <laughs> let's be honest. That nigga could have been a cold killer. And if they would have told you that, you would have did the same oh, exact thing. Uh, oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, that, set up. but yeah. that's just what it was back then, uh-huh. right? So that when you, when, I, I try to say that to let the youngsters know when you hear Future say ran off on the plug twice, he's talking about yeah. that era. Yeah. Y'all that niggas getting confused. A nigga didn't. A nigga didn't run off with a real a line of syrup. <laughs> That's what they been telling exactly. me right now. Like, exactly. You know what I'm Y'all niggas need to understand what's really going on in yeah, this situation. Yeah, like, this shit was dangerous. He was doing small shit, though. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I said, he little quarters here and there doing his little thing. Like, like you know, and I knew he was a square, too, because my, my cousin, she, she, you know, she fucked with square dudes. She didn't fuck with dudes from the project. Right, you know what I mean? Right. She was from there, but she fucked with a lot of squares and shit. Mm-hmm. And it just so happened he was moving, doing a, moving, moving coke and shit, you know, selling little quarter tees or whatnot. And yeah. I ended but up he was getting from cool. somewhere else, though, right? He was from somewhere else. Okay. He went from my neighborhood. Nah, nah. He was one of them dudes that was probably raised over in the houses, like in the Bayview area and mm-hmm. shit like that. He wasn't from the project. So, you know, projects kind of control the hill when you're from the project. How far there. along is this from the time? Like, like so now y'all selling crack night like mm-hmm. I know for a fact that this is when niggas is from the same turf but the the but the places of actual where you get your money separate mm-hmm. so like you know black chris them is down there we up here they over there when did it change to where like you know where it was a divide yeah cause like, you know really within, no divide, with, within so the, y'all niggas on all know, we corners we were all together yeah it was it was money coming through Harvard and that yeah. was like the top turf when it came to like motherfuckers was coming from the tenderloin up there right right like fucking Haitians and, and um, Cuban motherfuckers coming up there spending money like yeah. it was and you could get off on the freeway the back way yeah, come through yeah, and just get up out of there so today you can hustle over here and tomorrow today you can hustle over here and tomorrow you can cross way over there and it ain't well 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 you you had like that um you had that area where motherfuckers wouldn't go at where it's just like nigga that, that's that's the dead man's alley where you just up on the top where police yeah. come down and ain't really know where to run so we stayed down up in the alley just before they blocked it off and made it an alley right on Harbor Road right on Harbor and yeah. everybody was so much money we just had a turn system you know what I mean that we yeah. took from the weed but when the OG's was out there they kind of sort of had a turn system but they kind of just had clientele that fucked with Fuck certain with them, ones yeah, that yeah, it, yeah, just come yeah. directly to so them so y'all like, system was knock on me yeah, yeah, that's how we start doing yeah. it. Once the younger dudes start getting in it, we kind of start bumping the OGs out the way, and they kind of start moving down, it's down like inside, down the stairs. They yeah. went out on the streets like we would. Right. They was in the cuts, right? Because they had a certain clientele that had come looking. I'm looking for such and such. I'm, where yeah. he at? And you be like, yeah. oh, you know, he downstairs or whatnot. Mm-hmm. But the cars pulling up, looking for twenty shots yeah, or whatever, yeah, trying yeah. to buy, you know, see if they can get three for forty or some right, shit. Right. We was taking turns doing that shit. You okay. know what I mean? We'd be out there 10, 15 deep. Everybody getting money. Yeah, you know I mean? right. when did it turn to where like <clears throat> like white ghosts coming through and they know you like I, I we own his ass man. like I, I I want this motherfucker bad I like, say probably around 87 going into 88 like right before the motherfucking like the, the turf war shit started really popping off cause we started getting money now we are young niggas starting to buy cars and shit mm-hmm. you know we mm-hmm. got hella cars over there you know my nigga Larry got his cougar you know mm-hmm. we, everybody's got this you talking about Larry stars. June yeah Larry June now probably. this is the rapper Larry June's dad yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah all yeah, of us we yeah. had the, he got the cougar you know Boob got his Skylark you know 5.0 I got my 5.0 out there we got motherfucking uh, I mean not 5.0 we out there with the uh, the Skylark and yeah, Boob had the um, what else did Boob have he had the, uh, the Cutlass and uh, I had the uh, Cougar, I had the Granada. We like yeah, we started yeah. just buying cars like yeah. it was crazy. Get the motherfuckers painted, throwing eight wires and Vogues on the motherfuckers, Trues and Vogue. Mm-hmm. We got Star Wise and Vogue. So mm-hmm. that's when we started getting hot. And there yeah. was no OGs like I'll tone it down. Yeah, some, yeah y'all. they couldn't tell us shit though. Everything really, turned our up. OGs was cool. Like they wasn't really like we didn't have like that pecking order where it's like an OG like nigga check this out y'all y'all gotta do this like we was that generation up there you know what well, I mean? y'all was the smash yeah we was the niggas who was yeah. smashing our OGs was like the cool dudes and right, shit like right. you know they they wasn't banging they wasn't shooting mm-hmm. motherfuckers they wasn't doing that kind of started from my era and my younger brother and them on down them niggas got crazy because of us them, yeah. they, like it started getting crazier and crazier uh, each generation but we was the start of that shit like yeah. really you know what I mean it went from 
fighting motherfuckers pulling out knives and fighting with them OGs to when we got on there it was like niggas start pulling pistols and going from fighting to niggas busting at each other and right. shit because it seemed right. like prior to that everything was unified like you said yeah it was. was one big ass gigantic family so. one big ass family you can roll a film over really no problem you can go to Sunday there with no problem but then you know a couple things happen niggas Females start, you know. Getting yeah, now, I was gonna ask you that. Was that way. was that really the uh, well? At least with Sunnydale, was that the initial beat yeah. over over a brawl? Yeah. So yeah. niggas really start funking over a brawl. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, nah, I got a feeling she fat that. right now. Nah, she actually, she, <laughs> nah, she actually just passed away. Like, oh, really? No, rest really in peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, my boy Haley is uh, okay, cousin okay, and okay. shit. Like, she just recently passed away from like, 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 like man, rest in peace, Charlene. Like, she, rest in peace, Charlene. She, Charlene was, was a bad she was, one. Huh? She was a bad one. Like, Charlene was one of the ones uh, up, up out the city, out, out of out of Frisco, who motherfuckers wanted. Okay. And she fucked with one of them reptiles over there in Sunnydale. Yeah. Okay. And a dude from Hunters Point, you know, knocked him off for a little exactly, bit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Shit, and that just. You know, just kind and, of. And we